The man who escaped from a Chattanooga mental health facility is back in custody. Thank you for joining us. I'm Cindy Sexton. And I'm David Carroll. Polk County deputies arrested Dustin Adams last night after reports of a home break-in. He escaped from Moccasin Bend on Friday. But this isn't the first time Adams has escaped from a facility. In September, he broke out of the Hamilton County Jail. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Kate Smith tells us how he was recaptured. Polk County Sheriff's officers were patrolling an area when they spotted a man run off into the woods. When they came back to that neighborhood later in the day and saw a home was vandalized, they had a feeling fugitive Dustin Adams was back in the area. It was no surprise for Robert Geisler when his friend Dustin Adams showed up at his door looking for a place to stay. Robert always offered Adams help during his difficult days. They've been family friends for 25 years. Come see me uh, back in the day and he always called me Pops. Robert had no idea his friend recently escaped from the Moccasin Bend Mental Health Institute. And for the second time in three months, police were looking for the runaway. I didn't know he'd been in Moccasin Bend. He didn't say nothing like that. I just gave him some food. Robert offered his friend a hot meal, and then the 26-year-old was gone. He made, and he got corned beef. He took it with him up the road. When Polk County Sheriff Steve Ross learned Adams was on the run again, he had a feeling he would make his way back to Polk County. He has family up here and he knows the area real well. And uh, I guess he's just trying to see if we can catch him or not. On Sunday, officers responded to a home on Isabella Avenue. Two windows and the glass door were broken. After a quick investigation, the officers intentionally left the doors open. But when they came back for a follow-up, they noticed... One of the doors that had been left open was now closed and the, and the curtains was pulled. They shined a light through the curtains and spotted someone in a bed in the vacant home. Off the top bunk, or off, off of the bed, I should say, and uh, sort of tossed the blanket in their direction as he was trying to run, and he didn't make it very far. Dustin Adams hid under the bed before finally admitting to officers he was wanted by police. Dustin Adams will now face additional charges in Polk County, including aggravated burglary and vandalism, along with a state probation violation. Sheriff Ross says he will be held in Polk County for the next few months. In the studio, Kate Smith, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Now, Channel 3 records show this is the third inmate to escape from Moccasin Bend this year. Monteagle police arrested 33-year-old Brandon Robinson at a McDonald's in July. When he escaped, Robinson took a car from an elderly Chattanooga man who was opening up for church service. Robert Harris was being held at Hamblin County for two, uh, for two counts of aggravated child rape when he escaped in August. He was found five miles from Moccasin Bend the next day. These records only show the escapees of which we were notified.